Figureheads Jeff with Gear Report with an EDC flashlight review for you. Let's take a look at Olight's S1R Baton 2. Yeah, that's right. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV, and you're watching Gear Report. So when Olight reached out to ask if I'd review any flashlights for them, I said, you know, I'm not familiar with your brand or the scope of products, but here's what I need. I need an EDC flashlight, something small that I can carry in my pocket. I'd like for it to have a clip so I can secure it to the top lip of the pocket, make it easy to get to. It has to be rechargeable, period. And I would really like for it to have like a super dim mode and a super bright mode and some stuff in the middle so that I can use it up close without blinding myself and I can use it kind of further away as well. I, I thought that was kind of a tall order, but they very quickly said, oh, that sounds like our brand new S1R Baton 2. It's the first of a new line of flashlights that uses the IMR16340 lithium battery, which is a pretty high output, little tiny rechargeable battery. I said, okay, great, send it. Uh, it arrived and, you know, it came in a package with a little velour pouch, kind of fancy, snazzy. It's got a wrist strap, a little padded adjustable wrist strap. It even has a little threading tool on here to help uh, get the strap through the little hole in the base of the flashlight so you can attach that lanyard. I, I'm not going to use the lanyard, so I'm not going to go ahead and loop it through. Also comes with a little PVC patch with Velcro if you like that kind of thing. And for the sticker people, you even get a sticker. It's pretty cool, nice little batch of stuff. Uh, I said it had to be rechargeable and it comes with a little USB recharging cable. And I have my laptop pulled up in front of me so I can plug this in. You can see a little green light tells you that it has power and the contacts are on the other side. This is magnetic. We've got a little ring on the base of the flashlight. You see it sucks it right in there. It's a 4.2 volt, one amp magnetic charger and it runs off a standard five volt USB port like what I have here on my laptop. So you see the indicator here is red. That means it's charging. When it's done charging, it'll go green. So you know what the status is. That's similar to the indicator light in the switch. So this is a side mounted switch on this light. When you turn the light on, it will show a very dim green means you've got a good charge. If it's amber, you're at about 30% or less. If it's red, you're at 10% or less. So I think that's a handy little feature as well. It's a very durable flashlight. I've been carrying it for what three or four months and I'm kind of clumsy. I've dropped it a fair amount of times. Uh, I'm 6'4", so if I drop it out of my pocket, that's, you know, a meter, meter and a half off the ground. I've dropped it a little bit higher too. And you can see some dings and dents and scratches and a little bit of finish wearing off a couple places places, but it has worked perfectly every single time I've used it. Even the one time I didn't think it was working because if the light is off and you hold the button for two seconds, the moonlight mode comes on and then it goes off. Now we are in locked mode and anytime you push it, your little indicator gives you a very faint red. That means it's locked, all right, and it does not come on. I'm pushing the button, it doesn't come on. To get it out of locked mode, you hold it for more than a second and your little moonlight light comes on and then it will work normally again. So that's pretty cool. Other features, uh, I said it's durable. It has a 6061 T6 aluminum body, your belt clip that works both directions. You can put it in this way or you can go this direction and put it in uh, to clip it uh, onto a belt. I like to put it in the top of a pocket uh, right along the lip so that uh, it doesn't get lost down in the bottom of the pocket. That's a stainless steel clip there as well for corrosion protection. The lens is neat. It's not flat, okay? It's conical, but then flat in the very center. So what that lens shape does is it gives us a little different shape on the light output. So you can see here, we've got kind of a a hot spot in the center and then it diffuses out kind of gradually beyond there. So I think that's a good compromise between having a really tight focus beam. So you point your light and you see what you're aimed at and you see nothing around it. I like to see a little bit around the edges but have more focus light in the middle. And this does a really good job of that. So this is the standard bright setting. Let's go through the controls. And 
I have got the directions here. If you see me looking down, I want to be sure I get all of these absolutely right as we talk through them. So on off is pretty simple with your side mounted switch. Push it, it comes on. Push it, it goes off. It remembers the last mode it was in so uh, of the three main modes. So changing brightness, if you turn it on and then hold, it will cycle through low, medium, high. Low, medium, high. When you let go, it stays on that. Let me shut it off. All right, we'll turn it back on. It's back on high because that's what it was when we turned it off. So we'll hold it and move it down to low, turn it off. Now we turn it back on. It's still on low. It remembers that mode for those three. Okay, we've got low, medium, high. We can go one lower and one higher. Okay, if it's off and we hold, it, hold the button for one second, I'll look at it this way so I can see it. There we go. Can you see that? It's pretty dim. They call that moonlight mode. You can see on my hand here. It is super, super dim. And moonlight mode is supposed to get you eight days of continuous runtime. That is insane. And if you really need just like a little marker light to find your tent, maybe you hang it up like this. Um, maybe you just need to read something up close without ruining your night vision and without burning a lot of juice. Moonlight mode is pretty awesome for that, I think. So notice, I'll push and turn it back on. We came on at low, not moonlight mode. It doesn't remember moonlight mode, and it doesn't remember the other end of the spectrum, turbo mode. All right, so to get into turbo mode, you double press your side switch. There we go. Did you see it? It didn't just come on. It kind of faded up to... Faded up? Is that the right way to say it? I don't know. It came up to the full turbo 1000 lumen intensity, and then when we turn it off, same thing. It kind of dims down to nothing. So we have another mode to look at. Strobe is three presses. There we go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't like that. I mean, I like having it. Don't like when it's pointed at me. Yeah. Uh, the last mode that we want to talk about is the timer. Timer has a three minute or a nine minute setting. To get into the timer mode with the flashlight on, we're going to pick the setting we want it to come on. So that's bright. Let's go back to low. All right, so we want to set it to go for three minutes on this low setting. So with the flashlight on, we're going to double click and hold the side switch. That blink tells us that the three minute timer has started. If we kept holding it and it blinked twice, that would mean the nine minute timer has been set. All right, so we're gonna hit the button to turn it off. Uh, let me know what questions you have. I think we've covered about everything. Um, you know what, let me, let me look through the, the manual here real quick. So I told you all the other stuff that came in the box, it also has a paper manual. And I'm telling you, it's things like a map, you unfold it and unfold it and unfold it and it keeps getting bigger because it has 16 different languages in it. 16 languages. The English section is pretty small. We've got some specs like it should be 145 meter beam throw. It maxes out at 100, excuse me, 1,000 lumens. Uh, the waterproof rating is IPX8. They say it's good for a drop of up to 1.5 meters. It uses one of the new IMR16340 batteries. And the dimensions, it lists 63 millimeters by 21 millimeters. That's going to be roughly 2.5 inches by 0.8 inches in diameter. Our weight, 51 grams, which is about 1.8 ounces. For the different light modes, uh, all of these are going to be lumens. We have 1,000 in turbo mode, 600 in high mode. Uh, our medium is 60 lumens, low is 12 lumens, and you get down to a 0 0.5 lumen moonlight mode. All right, so how long do they last? Turbo, you should be able to get about one and a half minutes at that 1,000 lumens. Uh, that's similar to the high mode. When we get to medium, they say at that 60 lumens that you'll get three hours, low 20 hours, and moon is a full eight days. I'll be honest with you, I haven't tested any of those modes. I've used it, you know, for, for things as I've needed it. And I tend to, what I do with flashlights is I turn it on, I turn it to the lowest brightness that I can use to do whatever I'm trying to do at the time, and I leave it at that. And I've had absolutely no issues with it running out when I do that. So I think I've covered everything here. If I missed anything, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Please, if you like this video, 
subscribe to the Gear Report channel, click the notification bell, and go check out our other videos. We've got a lot of content in the camping and backpacking area in, if you like, firearms and EDC type stuff. We've got a lot of gun reviews and gear reviews there. We even do military vehicle reviews, sailing, all kinds of different stuff. We're at gearreport.com. You can go check out the website. We're on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, GunStreamer, YouTube, BitChute. We're all over the place. Wherever you are, please find us. Give us a like, say hi. We'd love to hear from you. Until then, we'll see you at the range. Thank you.